a persuasive person gets you into the group, and then the group itself, you feeling part of it, feeling like you're part of some kind of spiritual family, you make yourself, because it feels good, part of the belief. You keep yourself in the belief. You're basically thought reformed, far beyond mere curiosity, because you're around people who all agree, it must be true, and I can prove it because I can show you my pseudoscience, or I can preach some propaganda. That's not truth. That is not the fact. That is merely belief. But try and explain to people, and they will not listen. You get many people out there who get involved in certain fringe religions. They go and live in a commune, or in a house where other members live. Borderline commune. Like shared living. And because they're around people who are saying the same thing, they're going, oh yeah, it must be right. The belief we have. Or perhaps they limit themselves in terms of internet um, discussion to a particular group, a particular belief, and they make themselves believe. Yes, of course, it must be true. Why? Because all of these people agree. How do you know they're right? Well, look at the group propaganda. So whether it's in an actual commune, shared living, or even in a church, and also in the modern era, where people cut themselves off from the real world and spend so much time online, the online forum and news sites and so on and so forth can provide the same experience. When you're in a closed system, a closed view of reality, you allow yourself to believe. You're communicating with others who think in the same sort of way and therefore as a result you become thought reformed in the beliefs which are laid out. So this could be, for example, something like the Jesus Army. This could be the Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on your door and then eventually getting you to go to their Kingdom Hall every Sunday, as well as going to get baptised in the United States, perhaps, as they offered me when I was talking to them. It could be something like an evangelical newborn Christian on a street preaching with his group who point out the supposed errors in rationality and science. You talk with them, they convince you because you're not well uh, informed on matters such as evolution, the probability of God and so on and so forth, and therefore you become caught up in their belief. You hang around them more, you go to discussion groups, you go to church groups, and then you're in the system. It could be that you get involved with a New Age or Hindu cult which basically encourages a commune atmosphere. And because you're around people who agree, you stick to it. It could be that you're a psychic or psychic curious, and you go along to workshops. You go along to the workshops, you have the same sort of thing. People who agree upon the same sorts of ideas, sharing their ideas, and because it's a limited system of thought, it seems to confirm the same belief. It could be straightforward the Catholic Church, Methodist Church, whichever. You go to church, you make it your life, you go regularly. Because you don't have much else outside the church, you're forced to go there more because it's your only method of communication and sharing with other humans. It could just as easily be going on the David Icke forum and spending so many hours discussing on there going to other conspiracy theory websites which are very similar and staying within a closed belief, watching YouTube videos which are on the same sort of narrative and so on and so forth. It could be the Alex Jones forums with Infowars.com where you're leaving comments on various articles, various stories which are brought up which seem to confirm your belief and because you communicate only with people who seem to believe the same as you, you end up thinking it must be true. I'm in the right group. I'm in the, 
the chosen, if you will, the people with the greater knowledge, the people with the, the great truth. I know it's true, you'll say to outsiders. How do you know? Well, you've been thought reformed. You've been manipulated. And you spend time in a closed system, whichever closed system it may be, and you become devout. If you're not given the ability or the necessary time or mental process ability, really, to actually think in ways of doubt, to be critical, to be sceptical, then you're not going to break free. Basically, what we have is a system where people get involved in a belief system or an idea of great truth and they program themselves or are programmed by people around them and they find confirmation because they're within a closed view of reality. It's like they've got tunnel vision and they're looking directly at what they believe in. If you're constantly focusing, focusing on a single thing, being true, being the absolute, you're not seeing reality. You're not seeing left, you're not seeing right, you're not seeing up, you're not seeing down. You're seeing straight ahead and you're seeing a belief. This is the way conspiracy theorists think. This is the way New Agers think. The way many forms of Christianity think. The way many forms of many beliefs around the world seem to think. It's not limited to religion. Don't get me wrong. There are many people in politics who are limited because they have the same sort of mentality because they look at only what the group tells them what, uh, what to look at they're against certain things within politics because they believe their belief is true so they end up joining perhaps Greenpeace or some radical leftist group or it could be a radical white, right wing group racists nationalists and so on and so forth they look at limited data, limited things, and therefore they believe certain things to be true. Selecting data, disregarding stuff that does not interest them, does not involve or have some kind of application in regards to their belief. Now I call this the cult mentality. Some people call it magical thinking, religious thinking, or whatever. There are many terms. What we're basically talking about is faith that something is true with zero evidence.